Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Taric, the Shield of Valoran. Demacia was my home, but the stars are my destination. Once a carefree and charming Damascian officer, Tarek was forever changed one fateful night when his men were butchered while he visited a nearby temple. Wracked with remorse and exiled by Damasia, Tarek traveled to Mount Targon, hoping to scale its peak to atone for his misconduct. He overcame the treacherous climb only to face a final challenge, a confrontation with the Targonian entity known as the Protector. After withstanding its test, Tarek found himself imbued with its powers and tasked with protecting all of Valoran. I am no longer the man I once was. In game, Tarek's a tanky support who brings his otherworldly powers to bear through a slew of flexible and potent abilities. Tarek's passive is Bravado, which soups up his next two basic attacks whenever he uses an ability. These two attacks swing faster, deal extra magic damage, and most importantly, reduce the cooldowns of his other abilities. Tarek's Q is Starlight's Touch, an AoE heal for all allies around League's very own Fabio. There are two features to this otherwise simple ability. First, Starlight's Touch slowly gains charges over time, which are all consumed to power up the heal. Second, Tarek's Bravado attacks reduce his Q cooldown by significantly more than his other abilities. Hold on to Starlight's Touch if you're looking to get the biggest heal for your buck. The mana cost stays the same, but you'll undo tons of damage, as opposed to itty bitty bits of damage. We are skipping Tarek's W for a moment, for reasons that'll become crystal clear real soon. So Tarek's not just a stunner in the looks department, he's also a stunner in game thanks to his E, Dazzle. After casting in a target direction, Tarek can briefly move around before it sapphires out from him in that direction, damaging and briefly stunning all enemies hit. Use Dazzle to stun your enemies before laying into them with basic attacks. You'll safely trigger your bravado passive and lower your cooldowns all while dealing decent damage. It's a win-win. Win. Tarek's ultimate is Cosmic Radiance. Tarek starts charging his ultimate on activation, and after a few seconds, buffs all allied units around him with temporary invulnerability. Just as with Dazzle, Tarek can move around freely while he charges up, but allies will fail to gain any benefit if they run too far away. Finally, Tarek and his pals are only immune to damage while Cosmically Radiant. Things like heals and crowd control will still work just fine. All right, last but definitely not least is Tarek's W, Bastion. Passively, Bastion increases Tarek's armor, but when he activates the ability, he shields a targeted ally and creates a link with them that temporarily breaks if Tarek and his buddy wander too far apart from each other. That's the simple stuff. Here's the more important bit. Once the link is established, Tarek casts all of his abilities from both himself and his Bastion buddy. Starlight's Touch creates two healing zones. Dazzle fires out two stuns each towards the cursor. And Cosmic Radiance whips up two invulnerable zones. These don't stack, so you don't get double healing damage or double invulnerability, but you will be able to affect double the real estate. Bastion has a ton of uses once you unlock all of your abilities. Try linking up with an ally to turn your entire tower diving party invulnerable, for example. Your opponents will love you. <laughs> no, they'll hate you. You'll generally want to stay in the thick of things when playing as Taric, partly to dazzle your opponents, but also to trigger bravado and keep your abilities online. Though Tristana gets caught, Tarek recasts Bastion for the shield, then hits Starlight's Touch for the heal, which keeps her alive. 
Because Terex stays in combat with Bard, Bravado allows him to recast Starlight's Touch, as well as a second round of Dazzle to help ensure Ezreal doesn't live to tell the tale. Terek has some pretty telegraphed windows of power, so playing around them, engaging when you're strong and disengaging when you're not, is super important. Here, the enemy bot lane plays really well around Terek's ult by disengaging entirely, only to go back in once the invulnerability fades out. But Terek's not done yet. He dazzles Jin, which gives Lucian a chance to dash in and pick up an easy kill before focusing down Trundle. Once he's dead, it's time to run. Pay special attention to how Terek aims Dazzle. By targeting just above Lucian, he's able to cover both of his flanks, making it almost impossible for Shen to get past the stun. When Tarek's not busy doing all the work in bot lane, he can carry the rest of his teammates too, so make sure you roam around the map once mid-game swings around. The combined rages of Bastion and Dazzle from Trundle means that Echo and Karma are literally and figuratively stunned that Trundle can kill them now. Spotting opportunities to find new Bastion buddies really separates the Diamond Tarek players from the rough. Here he spots Pantheon chasing Sona and moves his W from Lux to land a guaranteed Dazzle and kill. You'll probably have your Marksman Bastion up most of the time, and that's fine. Just remember that by relocating Bastion, you'll often be able to save otherwise doomed allies and kill otherwise safe enemies. Tarek following up on a hardcore engage is one of his heaviest strengths, but you have to play it right. Here, Tarek pops Cosmic Radiance in hopes of keeping Vi alive after she dives, but the enemy team plays it perfectly, popping her before the invulnerability kicks in. Because of how badly the beginning of the fight went, Tarek's enemies start slaughtering his teammates. Sun Protector you are. Enough of his mistakes. Let's talk about Tarek being the Dragonian badass he is. As Braum hits Glacial Fissure, Tarek reacts to the hard engage by casting Cosmic Radiance. Thanks to the invulnerability, his teammates survive the 3v5, which buys enough time for his remaining allies to come to the rescue and shatter the enemy team. Thanks for tuning in to the Tarek Champion Spotlight. Check out these gems if you're craving more information about the Shield of Valoran.